hi everyone. Well, we've been blown away by the response to 12 and 23. Thousands of you have already started the challenge and some of you have already completed it, which is a ridiculous and amazing achievement. Um, I just wanted to take a, a few minutes to tell you what we've got planned for the rest of the year and give you the opportunity to participate even further. So the first thing to know is that we're going to have a theme for each month where we encourage you to explore a certain paradigm, type of programming, maybe even a specific point in time, like trying really old languages or really new ones. During that month, we're going to be streaming people chatting about that month's theme, solving exercises in it, and just trying to push as much content that's interesting, useful, and valuable your way. If you'd like to get involved in this, then please reach out to us. Uh, we'll put a link in the, in the description of the YouTube video, and uh, we'd love to get you involved. So before I dig into what the year is going to look like, firstly, please hit subscribe so you don't miss any of this content as we release it through the year. So we've put together a calendar that contains every one of the tracks on Exism, which was not an easy feat. We have split them into various categories that we think are going to be fun and interesting. So I'll walk you through what we're going to do. Firstly, we have functional February. We're going to be exploring functional languages. Uh, we've just put the intro video together for this a few minutes ago. We're really excited to dig into it. And functional languages, they're super interesting. They're fun, they teach you loads, and there's a lot of new stuff in them. So there's loads of functional languages out there. If you don't know where to start, we're specifically recommending that you try Elixir or F Sharp, which we've got great tracks for, or maybe a Gleamago as well, which we just launched today. Next up, we have Mechanical March, in which we're going to be looking at system programming type languages. These are things like C++ or Go, maybe NIM, things that tend to compile to machine code, there might be some memory management for you to think about, or maybe they just make you consider how the code's actually executed. These will be languages that get you a bit closer to the innards of what's going on inside the computer. Then we have Analytical April, where we're focusing on more sciencey languages. The two big ones here are Python and Julia, but we also have a great R track. And obviously something like Python can go in lots of categories, but we think the majority of non-beginners right now are probably learning it for its value as a data science technology. So that's why we've put it into this category. In May, this is going to be a fun one, we're calling it Mind Shifting May. We're highlighting languages that do something different. Now, our favorite example of this probably is Prolog, which is a really unique way to program. But we're also looking at things like Rust, TCL, and Unison, which is a really new programming language that takes a, a different approach to distributed programming that we're really interested and excited about. Into June, and we're taking a very Northern Hemisphere focus here with the Summer of Sexps. We're going to be exploring expression-based languages, focusing specifically on Common Lisp and on Clojure, which are two really great X's and tracks. If you've never tried a Lisp before, this is going to be a really fun month for you. Rather than being scared of those parentheses, you're going to come to really appreciate and love them. As we move into July, we're going old school with Jurassic July. We're going to be exploring old languages, those that have founded, provided foundations for the programming that we know today. Think Fortran or COBOL, maybe VB or C. If you're a relatively newcomer to programming, it might intrigue and possibly even shock you as to what coding used to be like. August is going to be a month that's going to contain languages that are familiar to many of you, as we're going to be focusing on building things like websites and apps. We're calling it apps in August. We'll be looking at languages like JavaScript, Kotlin, Swift, maybe some lesser known ones such as Dart as well. And we're also going to be looking at languages like ABAP, which is used to create apps in very specific purposes. Slimline September focuses on languages in which you can do a lot while typing very little. These are the sorts of languages that people might do for something like Code Golf, but they're also super useful. Think Perl, Orc, JQ, Bash, languages that can sometimes feel a bit esoteric the first time you use them but they're super powerful ways to be productive if you put the effort into learning them properly. And they're also really fun for your brain to explore. Month 10 is Object Orientated October, where we're exploring, exploring languages that focus heavily on object-oriented programming. Languages like Ruby and C Sharp, and lesser known ones like Crystal and Faro. If you've always wanted to go a bit deeper into exploring object-oriented programming, 
this is the month for you. Then our final properly themed month is Nibbly November, a month dedicated to the lowest level languages where you'll be manipulating bits and bytes. We're focusing on two languages specifically, x86 assembly, the language that may well be uh, underpinning the hardware that you're watching this on, and WebAssembly, a new kid on the block that allows you to run any other programming language in your web browser. I'm gonna be honest, this won't be an easy month, but it's potentially the most satisfying to get somewhere without the whole thing. And then finally, we come to December diversions. These are the languages that we couldn't fit anywhere else. Things like Groovy, Lua, Ren. Think of this as the wildcard month. Choose one of our recommendations or anything from the other categories that means you want to finish the year off in style. So that's it, 12 months, a year of new programming languages for you to explore and have fun with. Leave a comment on the video telling us which ones you're excited to try and we'll try and make content for that. And if you'd like to stream yourself solving exercises, please reach out to us and we'll try and raise awareness of what you're doing and maybe even feature you on one of our official channels. Thanks for watching, really excited about this. Have a great day.